Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So this video is a bit of a combination. Um, I well, it, to be fair, I always do a blog post on whatever video I create, but this is kind of on purpose, if that makes sense. So I have five of these. Well, let me get the name right because I keep calling them Rouge Edition. These are the Bourjois Rouge Velvet the lipsticks. So these are the lipstick version of the Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Lipsticks and I have five shades. I picked these up from my friends in Shop Ella. If you're ever in Temple Bar, look, they obviously they're, they're a consigner store first and foremost but they often have lots of beauty bargains there and they sell the products for half off the recommended retail price. So I got all five of these for 20 euro which I thought was pretty good considering I saw these being sold in boots for 12.99. So yeah, I got five for 20 quid. But anyway, I digress. I wanted to do this in blog post and video form because I think this formula deserves to be seen in, in real life. Um, I'm actually, like, I put off buying these just because, like, I have all these shades in some sort, sort of product or another, some sort of lip product or another. Um, because generally when, like, makeup brands release new formulas they do the same like standard lip colors which is brilliant because we all want a nice red or a nice pink or anything like that but when it comes to me kind of forking out and buying them I spend a hell of a lot of money because I can't I don't really just want to review one of the new formulas of lipstick I want to do as many as I can afford so um I kind of put off purchasing these because they were 12 99 but then when I saw them for five, um, for in Shop at Ella for half price, I thought, right, I'm going to buy these. And I am so bloody glad I did. This formula is feckin' incredible. It's so soft and creamy, but it's super pigmented at the same time. And I am well impressed. So I thought I had to turn on the camera and rather than just do a blog post, which I generally do, I had to kind of do swatches, hopefully. We'll see how this goes. I'm not the, the greatest when it comes to making videos. I'm more kind of just... I stand, sit here and talk, but I'm going to attempt to swatch these and show you them in action because I thought they were worth it. But if you want to see kind of um, close-ups of them and all, you can head over to beautynook.ie. I'll link it down below and I'll have everything linked and close-ups and like arm swatches of them as well. But anyway, I'll shut up ram rambling on. Let's get on to the swatching. So I just have a bit of lip balm on my lips because they need to, needed to be prepped because they're currently going to get five lipsticks whacked on them. And I'm going to start from the lightest colour that I have. There's more in the range, I just happen to have five of them. So this is the shade 02 and it's called Flamingo, Flaming Rosé. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks a bit like this. So it's like a soft pink shade. So I'm going to grab my but, uh, mirror. I love the shape of if I can show you. I love the shape of the bullet. It's really easy to use. It kind of hugs the lips, if that makes sense. But just look how easy that applies. I'm gonna scooch in closer. So these go on really, really creamy and then they settle to a matte finish. Um, it says they don't transfer. I find they do a little bit, but they still last incredibly long, so that doesn't bother me whatsoever and you don't get the tightness or the flaking or anything that you do when you use a liquid lipstick like I love liquid lipsticks but they do tend to flake and be a bit annoying and this is these will be much easier to reapply throughout the day but you saw how much effort I put in there and I have a lovely nudie pink lip so that's the first one again this is 02 so the next shade I have, this is a very Gemma shade. This is 03 and it's called Hippie Pink Chic and it's a mauve colour. I've already worn this three or four times. It looks a bit like this. Like I'm I'm flabbergasted by the, the formula. So again, this is 03. And it will die down to a more um, matte formula. Next up we have the shade 05 and it's called Brick a Brick. And it looks like that. It's kind of a ready peachy shade I suppose. I 
I will say about these as well is that they don't smell too offensive. Like I know, I think these might be a play on the Rimmel The Only One lipsticks. And as much as I love them, although they're not as creamy and pigmented as, as they is, they stink. They smell super florally and it's hard to take sometimes. These don't have an over smell, or overpowering scent whatsoever. And as you can probably see, while I was trying to clean up the mess that I made, the lipstick has set. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And so if I go like that, very little comes off. And like less as time goes on. If you have a drink, some might be left over on the glass, but it doesn't kind of translate onto the lips because you're still left with a lot of colour payoff. So that is 05. Also, on a side note, I'm just using Bioderma to take them off between takes. So, um, yeah, they come off pretty easy as well, which is great. Another plus. Okay, we're on to the two last ones now. I'll go with the red shade. This is called um, 08, and it's Rubis, Rubis Cute. It's a plain Rubik's Cube, I assume. And it looks a bit like this. I'll try not to get this all over my face. I can't get over the opacity of the formula. Because the formula is so soft, um, if you're not skilled in the lipstick department, which I obviously am, not um, your lip line will be a bit crooked. But obviously you can use a lip liner if you want. I just wanted to show the true colour and I'm going to clean up the concealer. And again this is the shade OE which is the true red of the bunch. So the last shade I have is number 10 and it is called Magnifique. Cute, very cute bourgeois. And it looks a bit like this. So it's a, a current colour. And what I will say is, obviously I have just put on taken off four lipsticks. So my lips aren't in the best shape of their lives. But it's not kind of making them dry or uncomfortable. And like, I don't feel funny putting on a shade like this onto my lips. Even though they don't have lip balm or anything like that. So that's pretty good. <laughs> I can't get over they nearly feel like oil going on, which I suppose gives like a lot of room for error because I keep kind of going over my lips, but they're so comfortable that it's okay. And again, that shade is number 10. So that's it. I'm left with the bold lip for the rest of the day and I'm okay with it. Um, I've had this on for a little while now, so I will show you the transfer. There is some, as you can probably see, but it's very minimal and um, yeah, it doesn't like it doesn't affect the opac opacity on your lips or anything like that. Um, I wore one of the shades the other day and I had John and my mom checking in with me every little while. We were out for the day and I've had eaten and stuff and I kept going to them, have I got lipstick left, have I got lipstick left? And I definitely did, it did fade gradually and it faded um, quite nicely. It wasn't patchy or anything like that, so that's brilliant. So I am so glad I picked these up. I think 12 99 in Boots is a bit steep for a drugstore uh, lipstick, but you can definitely find them. Um, I will link, like, feel unique and look fantastic and stuff. I believe have them for a little bit cheaper, so I'll link them in the blog post over on beatingup.ie if you want to check them out. And there is plenty more colours. These are just the five that I have. So, um, yeah, um, hold on, I just put my lipsticks down. I'll do my spiel now. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.